So here he is out of the blue corner, the number one heavyweight contender fighting for the title here tonight. Daniel Cormier has eight championship belts at home. Do you remember, though, the nerves for your first UFC title fight? It's the most overwhelming thing you've ever <laughs> felt in your entire life. You are sitting in the back waiting for that moment where you get an opportunity to go chase something greater than yourself. So many people have played a part in getting this man to this spot. How does he deliver? How does he not let anyone down? How does he ultimately become the champion of the world? This is a big spot for him. He is so excited to try and become the man. While self-belief is a powerful thing, he has long thought that he is the best heavyweight in the world. Tonight, he gets a chance to prove it. The UFC Hall of Famer Khabib Nurmagomedov getting back on the proven ground here tonight. And a new look corner, is that Hasbula there? Yeah, I mean, Hasbula is in the corner with Habib. Habib loves him. He's always talking about him. He spends time with him. But the one thing is, while Hasbula is there, Habib Nurmagomedov's approach will not change. This guy is an absolute grinder, man. He is just a dog. He will go forward, get in your face, hit him. You will not deter Habib Nurmagomedov from accomplishing the ultimate goal, and that's keeping that zero on the right side of his record. And if you're Javier Mendez, you just got to make sure that you let Hasbulla get in there between rounds. Little guy's yeah. got a lot to say. <laughs> is ready to go, and that means so are we for our main event. And now let's get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now to get us started, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Heavyweight Championship of the World. It's Rudy first. Fighting out of the blue corner. Presenting the challenger, Big. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle. Herb Dean, our referee Ready for this fight? one. Ready. Go ahead. Well, they say everybody loses in mixed martial arts. I guess everybody except the Eagle, Khabib Nurmagomedov. Impossibly difficult to get this guy off of you once he takes you down. How do you prevent that from happening is the question for the opponent today. Nurmagomedov gets tattooed by that straight punch. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Puppy. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. In the half guard. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. Oh, another strike lands from the top. Striking from every position lands a strike from the bottom. And there you go, again, half guard. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big round one. Trying to pass 
to the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensively. The bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Top pressure being applied here. Beautiful transition. Yes, smart adjustment. Yep. Making all these shots count. All right, working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. That guillotine is very tight. Good job by the champ there. Slide back out. Back in half. Row. All right, in the full guard here. Look for a pass immediately in the half guard. Keep advancing the position. Oh, it looks like he's trying to isolate an arm here. Triangle now, DC. We'll see if he can close the show. Oh, the triangle is in. And not only does he have the triangle, if his opponent circles the wrong way, he can even attack. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything wrong. So. Just over two minutes to go in the round. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Get the ball here. Big ground and pound. In the half guard. Not there yet, but might get the submission here shortly. Oh, great reversal to top position by Numago now. On to the pump. Nice positional control here. The ground strikes continue to pile up. Posture's up now. Oh, and delivers. Huge punch to the head there. Killing it on the ground, another strike gets through. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Oh, now he's gonna find himself in a little more danger. And he's back up. He lands a switch kick there. Well, you don't wanna say Habib has fallen in love with his striking, but... He certainly is boxing more than he did early on in his UFC career. Now we'll see if he can follow it. So at long last, he finally lands his first takedown after several failed attempts. You knew coming in that he was going to stay committed to the takedown, kept on trying, and finally got him to the ground. Got to be careful here. No, you don't want him on your back. He's going to start looking to try to attack a rear naked choke. That's exactly what he's doing. How good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing the opponent to get the submission victory. So a strong five minutes down. Relax. When we go back out there, the same game plan, but now I want you to use more kicks. All right, so that's the end of the round. A lot of highlights from which to choose, but his success in that round certainly rooted in his offensive takedown game. And that's what he does, right? He's a grinder. He's the type of guy that wants to get a hold of you, drag you to the floor. It doesn't bother him that much if you get back to your feet. He just wants to continue to make you work the entire time because he understands this type of grind most guys can't keep up with. Ready to fight? Ready. Round two is on the way. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Swifts on this straight right here. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Does a great job getting out of that clutch position. On the shot, there you go, single leg. All right, 
Might try to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Margo Medov's in half court. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Oh, this is not good. Mounted crucifix. Oh, he's got that arm triangle. Watch him pass to the opposite side. It looks real tight. He'll drop his weight to try to finish his technique. Oh, that's got to be it. Oh, he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow. That is great submission defense. Great submission defense. Lands with the ground and pound. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. Moving his head on the ground here, avoiding a lot of these big shots. He's very accurate in the ground and pound, and it's showing because he's landing so consistently. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. You can't take all those unanswered strikes. They don't have to be that damaging. Yeah. You just got to move. Ground and pound the hammer Mark Coleman would be proud. Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. Oh, nice. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. So the crowd absolutely loving it as these fighters work their way back to the feet. The fighters are back to their feet now, and they can take in the applause because they deserve it after that grappling exchange. Nice judo toss for him there. All right, side control now. Oh, right into Mount. Great defense by the defensive fighter. Oh, he got to the spot. Oh, nice elbow. Great shot from the top position. Constantly a moving target. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get up on a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Beautiful ground strikes landing. And there it is. Another strike on the ground gets through. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Nermago Medoff's in half guard now. Yeah, he's gonna try to attack Kimura here. He'll try to get him up on his right hip so he can get pressure to him. Wow, somehow, some way, he gets the arm out. It looked like he was done, John, but he was able to stay comfortable, stay patient, and now he finds himself safe. Well, defense doesn't always win championships in MMA, but how about the submission defense tonight thwarting one attempt after the next? Yeah, and the fact that he's just constantly under attack tells you he was very prepared for the type of fighter that he was in front of. He knew there would be some submissions coming his way. He was ready to defend them, and he has done that. Now he's got a good body position, yo. Lands the ground and pound strike. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. Fight back! Fight back! We might get a stoppage here. Putting him in exactly the positions he needs. Back mount now. Darce choke a tip here. Oh, Darce choke locked and loaded. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth, but submission defense wins this transition. Oh, you gotta love the ground and pound strikes here. Nermanko Medov's in half guard. Final seconds here. Side control now. Oh. Two rounds in the books. Oh.
All right, so the crowd voicing its appreciation after that crazy sequence in the previous round nearly submitted him there, DC. This is usually what we get with striking, but tonight you have a very educated crowd. They appreciate high-level grappling, and they are getting that tonight in this fight. That submission was indeed, fight. but wow, what a great job of escaping and living to fight another day. Oh, and he connects there. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Nermago Medox looking to pass into half guard here, but he's denied. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Now he's going full mount. This is where he wants to be. Oh, he postures up in a big hit strike behind the Oh, great ground shot there, and that one opened him up. He set up a beautiful submission. Oh, that looks tight to me. It looks like it might be locked in. Yeah, it looks like it's done. It looks like it's done. Doing a lot of good movement. Well, he's got his back now. Nicely done. Khabib's right back to the full mount here. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. strikes from the top. Oh, big elbow. Oh, shades of the godfather with the ground and pound Mark Coleman as he lands again. Cole is somewhere smiling watching this guy land from the top position. Oh, good movement to avoid that strike from the top. This is a terrible position. Let's go. Push, push, push. Get free. He is really doing a nice job with his head movement here defensively on the ground to avoid further punishment. He isn't waiting until his opponent throws. He's being proactive. And when his opponent throws, he's already moving, so he's missing it. Nermako Maddox right back to the full mount. Oh, he's wearing it now, bleeding from his cheek. Look at that. Recognizing he's about to lose position. Oh, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Great ground and pound by this man. Pretty good head movement. He's avoiding a lot of these ground strikes. Oh, man, another ground strike gets through. It's going to be Motrin in the morning. The swelling starting to appear. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Well, he's avoided a lot of the damage here on the ground. Nicely done with the head movement there. Not staying still underneath his opponent is allowing him to not get hit with anything too damaging. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the map? Great defense by this fighter. Yep, got to be very careful there. He needs to better move. move. Yeah, he's got to move down. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Nermago Medoff ground and pound from half guard now. Nice guillotine attempt here. Oh, nice guillotine there. He's trying to tighten the grip on his guillotine choke. He seems to have it. He's got to... Oh, man, that was slick. Pretty athletic off his back to avoid that strike from the top. Ref won't help you here. Just as the referee will never take a guy out of mount, they will not take a guy off of your back. You have to get him out of his position. Massive shot from the top. Marco Medovs back in full now. Oh, another submission attempt by him. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Oh, submission. 
aggression defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and it showed in that defense. Final seconds of round three. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Namago. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. All right, as they attend to the damaged fighter, we will re-rack some replays for you. A lot of damaging strikes landed by the opposition in that previous round. Well, him just not really paying attention on the defensive side has made his opponent look like an absolute world beater. He's a good fighter, but he has never looked this good. And that is, in, that is partly because his opponent is not defending. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. It's palpable. The energy is crazy because you understand that in the next 10 minutes, someone's going to get a belt wrapped around their waist. It's amazing. Great timing in that double leg. Good entry there to take the fight to the grappling realm. Now we'll see what he can do from here, champ. This is exactly where he wants to be. Looks from to try to use ground and pound to open up submission opportunities. He's in the mount. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Well, he's on his back, but he's moving his head on the ground pretty well defensively. Well, significant swelling now in and around that left eye. Might even be starting to close. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Nurmagomedov. Moving his head here on the ground, champ. I mean, this guy is very active off of his back, and it helps him to evade those strikes. He's got to be careful here. Nice shots landing from the top position. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. Khabib's in half goal. Nice transition. Nurmagomedov's yeah, yeah, yeah. back in full mount. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Big elbow there, Lance. All right, so he earned respect from his opponent early on with the power, and now the swelling really started to become a factor, champ. The swelling starting to become a factor. This guy is so good at recognizing a weakness in his opponent. He got him hurt, he got him swollen a little bit, and now it's starting to pay dividends. Oh, the ground and pound is there. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get off on a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. All right, half guard for him here and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his grounded pound. Build a base, posture up, throw big strikes, get back in position, build posture. Going to try to take his opponents back here, and he does. While working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Nermago Metal. These ground strikes are starting to add up. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. he loved I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of if you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't be is flat on your back. Up on an elbow, right? You need to be half on the side, and you need to control the far side underhook. It is a battle for underhook when you're fighting in a half guard position on the mat. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Ooh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. Great submission defense, a full display by the opponent. Nice. Nermago Medov's got a pretty deep bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. His opponent has done a lot of work in that region tonight. Really max 
maximizing his shots here on the ground. Another ground and pound strike lands. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. If they try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Let's go, he's to his back now. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Nermago Meta. Oh, big shots from the top. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Final seconds here. Lands the ground and pound strike here. Oh, staying busy from top position. He lands another ground strike there. And there's the buzzer indicating the end of round four. March of the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, so there's the end of the round. The storyline over those previous five minutes, volume takedowns, offense impressive. Yeah, this is an exhausting type of fight, not only for the offensive fighter, but also for the opponent. Always being under attack, always being defensive, always reacting starts to really wear at your gas tank. It's interesting to see who is more fresh going into the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, fifth and final round. We'll work with that jab, jab in. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, the master of the transition. Nice grab. Oh, a beautiful straight right hand. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh, nice takedown defense. And they separate. Big double leg, double team. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. All right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Well, that is as bad a cut as we have seen in some time. You see the referee monitoring things closely. We might get a stoppage soon. Yeah, he needs to monitor it. And, John, many times we are on the officials to stop the fight. This is one of those times where it needs to happen right now. Oh, he's got it locked in. He's got that arm trying to deep. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Might be a submission attempt here, Chad. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Oh, and there it is. It was only a matter of time. That ground strike has cut him open. Moving his head pretty well defensively on the ground here. He's got to start throwing now. He's having his way with him here. Oh, man, another strike gets through. And now things are critical. We got a lot of blood, folks. Well, his grappling has been on point thus far, and don't think he's going to slow down. He can keep up this pace through the whole fight. Especially when he's on top, in the top position, where he's controlling the exchanges, controlling the transitions. He can do it with his eyes closed. This is something he's been doing since he was a young man. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night.
We send it inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 29 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Khabib the Eagle, Nurmagomedov. All right, so Habib Nurmagomedov, your winner by knockout tonight, certainly had a big knockout against Thiago Tavares back in 2013, but his striking has eternally been underrated. Perhaps it won't be anymore. He relies on the toughness to get him in the face of his opponents. That knockout showed that Habib is leveling up, and as it keeps improving, he gets even more dangerous for his competition. As dangerous a grappler, of course, as there is in this or any division, but tonight, Habib Nurmagomedov going to the hand.